Run, Collector. Alright guys, in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of advice and a little bit of help on how to transfer your Dell Optiplex case, Optiplex motherboard <laughs> into a PC case that you can actually use like a regular PC. So basically we're going to turn on the switch, see how the lights come on, right? Everything came on, still using the factory CPU, the little fan. But I do have two adapters here. I'll show it to you a little closer. I have the adapter on top right here. Right there for the power switch. And then at the bottom here, we have the adapter for the audio, the USB 2, and the hard, hard drive light, the HD light, the indicator. It shows you you're downloading something or the hard drive is operating. The only thing I was missing right now, as you can see there, is a 5 pin. 5 pin plug for the rear fan that I was missing, the final piece of the puzzle. I'll show it to you. So if you want to transfer your Dell Optiplex guts into a gaming case, all you really have to do is buy yourself a power supply, you buy yourself a power supply, you buy yourself the case. Then you have to get two things so you won't have any codes whatsoever. The final thing I was missing is this, that's the 5 pin. 4 pin adapter for the rear fan and then the adapters that I show you these are adapters that goes in the bottom one of these is for the audio the other one is for the USB 2 and the top one over here the two of them by themselves that's going to be for the HD light on this one I never used it because when it came I don't know if you guys can see well it has all the pins coming out has eight pence on each, I believe. No, two, four, ten pence. Ten pence on each, I believe. And then if you look, when you when you grab your case, give me a second. When you have your case, you're gonna see that it comes with the the plugs, the USB three, I mean sorry, USB two and your audio. So there you see there. I don't know if you guys can see, but they're gonna be missing they're gonna be missing one pin on them. They're not going to have all 10 pins. That's how you're going to different them. You know what I mean? That's how they're going to be different. So you're going to have to either... I never used this one because I, never, I didn't know if I had to like cut one of the pins out. The one that doesn't go in. Because you're going to see the plug, the, the audio plug. Okay. So yeah. All right, guys. So yeah. This is the USB. This size the USB. This size the audio. Oh, can't even see nothing. This size the USB. This side is the audio, and on top is the HD light, but like I said, you might have to cut a pin. I don't know if these things were defective. I think I paid, I got that one from China, and I paid like 12 bucks. This other one, I got from a US vendor, and I think I paid $25. And you can see this one's more detail. It has the positive, negative for the HD light. It has more detailed writing on it, so. I ended up using this one. I've been using this one for a long time. The other one, I never really used it. I just used uh, the top plug. I never had audio. All right, guys. So main thing right now, if you guys can see, we still have the five pin unplug. Even if you, even if you cut a wire and you plug it in there, you're still going to get the code. I'm going to show you guys now. So we're going to power it on from the front. Go over here. We got a Dell. See, it's gonna tell you press F1, alert, rear fan failure. You gotta press F1. Alright, so you press F1, it's gonna load up. It's gonna load up windows like nothing. But I'll show you guys now once I put the fan. I'm gonna take the PC apart a little bit so I can reroute some of the wires in the back. And then I'll show you guys that we're gonna eliminate that code just by using our little 5 pin to 4 pin adapter over there and I'm just gonna unplug this rear fan from the from the hub and I'm gonna plug the fan to this pin to this little connector alright guys so if you want a smooth experience where everything works or your or your or your USB ports work in the front you have the hard drive light working letting you know when the hard drive is thinking and your power switch alright guys so Pretty easy, 
I will say get the more expensive one, don't get the Chinese stuff. If you get the Chinese one, I guess, if you want to try to cut it, cut one of the pins that you're not supposed to use, you'll realize that when you get the plug, I guess you can do that too and save some money. But all right, guys, see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll show you guys in a little bit how we get this PC working like a regular PC. All right, guys.